So hello students, the today that the another chapter from the literature part that I am going to explain to you that is the fight from the book It So Happened. So this is a very good chapter, the fight, especially for the students for of the class eight. Like that the class 8 students like teenagers they wanted to show the complete supernatural among their the classmates or something extra so they boost up their themselves like they call as the warriors they call as fighters so we will also come to know here that what happens in the chapter, the fight. And I'm going through the line by line over here. Ranji had been less than a month in Rajpur when he discovered the pool in the forest. It was the height of summer and his school had not yet opened. And having as great, having as yet made no friends in this the semi hill station he wandered about a good deal by himself into the hills and forests and stretched away interminably on all sides of the town it was hot very hot at that time of the year and the ranji walked about in his vest and shorts his brown feet white with the chalky dust that flew from the ground. The earth was sparse. The grass was brown. The trees listless, hardly stirring, waiting for a cool wind or a refreshing shower of rain. It was on such a day, a hot, tired day, that Ranji found the pool in the forest. The water had a gentle transparency and you could see the smooth round pebbles at the bottom of the pool, a small stream that emerged from a cluster of rocks to feed the pool. During the monsoon, the stream would be a gushing torrent, the cascading down from the hills and but during the summer it was barely a trickle. There's so many that the typical words of some have been given. The word interminable, it has already been written in your book. Interminably means that endless the word part, P A R C H E D part, it means part and track. The word transparency, it means that is clarity. The word torrent, that is rushing stream, that is rushing of water. Cascading, it means that coming down. And trickle means that very weak or the thin flow of water. This all the word meaning perfectly that it has been written in your book. So I am going to explain to you that there is a boy, his name is Ranji and he had come to a particular place in Rajpur and since that it was very hot, no doubt at all. So in the forest of the Rajpur, actually that he had discovered a small pool, the small pond in the forest. It was very hot summer and since that he had come during the summer vacation his school actually had not yet opened and so that he did not have the so many friends when that he came to Rajpur it was a semi hill station means that it was like a hill station and he wandered means that without aim that he went everywhere 
just to find and that interminable it means that endlessly endlessly actually that as far as that he could that he went far and far into the forest just to cool himself and since that it was very hot during those days so ranji that walked about simply that wearing the vest and the socks and the earth was completely hot and dry p a r c h e d pars pars means that is completely hot and dry the earth was completely hot and dry and since that he saw a pool in the forest the water was completely transparent very clear one could see in the down of the water and there is a pond already that there were the small pebbles pebbles means that the small stones that at the bottom of the pool that there were pebbles that clearly that it can be seen and where from that the water was collecting into the pool that through the rocks through the rocks that water was gathering into the pool and during the monsoon of course that during the monsoon that the pond used to get filled up but since that it was a hot season so that the water was also being dried up there was very less amount of water but it was very cool it was very cold water and since that by looking this ranji became very happy that at least that he could get relief by bathing into the pool and the all the water actually were coming down through the rocks cascading means that to come down so the water was gathered over there and it seems that it was very hot so it was a trickle trickle means that very small amount of water was collecting into the pool the rocks however held the water in the pool and it did not dry up like the pools in the plains when ranji saw the pool he did not hesitate he did not hesitate to get into it he had often gone swimming along with the friends when he had lived with his parents in a thirsty town in the middle of rajpuzana desert there he had known only sticky muddy pools where the fellows wallowed and the women washed the clothes he had never seen a pool like this so clean and cold and inviting he leapt into the water his limbs were supple free of any fat and his dark body glistened in patches of the sunlit water the next day he came again to quench his body in the cool waters of the forest pool he was there for almost an hour sliding sliding in and out of the limpid green water or lying stretched out on the smooth yellow rocks in the shade of the broad leaved sal trees it was while he lay thus that he noticed another boy standing a little distance away staring at him in a rather hostile manner the other boy was a little older than ranji than taller thicker with a broad nose and thick red lips he had only just noticed ranji and when ranji did not say anything the other called out what are you doing here mister ranji who was prepared to be friendly was taken aback at the hostility of the other stone i am swimming he replied why don't you join me i always swim alone said the other this is my pool i did not invite you there 
the stranger strode up to Raji, who still sat on the rock and the planting his the broad feet, the furling of the sand, said, This would settle the matter once and for all. Don't you know I am a warrior? I do not take replies from villagers like you. So you like to fight with villagers? said Ranji. Well, I am not a villager. I am a fighter. I am a warrior. I am a fighter. They had raised an impetus. One had said he was a warrior and other had proclaimed himself a fighter. There was little else that could be said. You understand that I am a warrior? Send the stranger. Feeling that the perhaps this information had not pretended Ranji's, Ranji's head. I have heard you say it three times, replied Ranji. Then why are you not running away? I am waiting for you to run away. I will have to beat you, said the stranger, assuming a violent attitude, showing Ranji the palm of his hand. I am waiting to see you do it, said Ranji. You will see me do it, said the other boy. Ranji made it. The other boy made a strange hissing sound. They stared each other in the eye for almost a minute. Then the warrior slapped Ranji across the face with all the force he could muster. Ranji staggered, that feeling quite dizzy. There, there were thick and red finger marks on his cheek. There you are, exclaimed the assailant. Will you be off now? For answer, Ranji swung his arm and pushed a hard bony fist into the other's face. And then they were at each other's throats, that swaying on the rock, the tumbling onto the sand, rolling over and over, their legs and arms looked in a disparate violent struggle, gasping and cursing, clawing and slap and slapping, they rolled into the swallows of the pool. Even in the water, the fight continued as spluttering and covered with the mud, they grabbed each other's head and the throat. So what happened when Raji was enjoying swimming into the pool and was getting relief, getting refreshed and then after immediately that another stranger also that came over there and he was staring at Ranji. So when Ranji was swimming into the pool pool then he noticed that the another boy was stand, standing and staring angrily towards him. And then after that, Ranji asked, I'm sorry, that stranger asked, that what are you doing over here? Then Ranji, who was that very friendly in nature, and that he said in a very soft manner, yes, I am swimming here. Then he also invited the stranger to join the swimming. But he said very angrily, no, that he wanted to swim just being alone. Because that he said that this pool was his. And he also said that he had not invited Randy to swim into the pool. So the Randy then after that he said that better that you should go off from here because I am a warrior. He boosted himself. He bragged himself and he said that I am a warrior. Then Randy also told that since that you are a warrior, then I am a fighter. And they all that started saying to each other that I am a warrior, then Randy said I am a fighter. Then the stranger said, I am a warrior. Then Ranji said, I am a fighter. 
and they both came to close to each other. And then after they wanted to fight against each other. And stranger gave him, gave him the warning that better that he should go away from here. He should run away from here. Otherwise that he will have to beat him. But Ranji was also not covered. C-O-W-A-R-D, covered. Covered means that is the folk. Timid. He said that he was also not a covered. And then after that again, that they started fighting. So first of all, the stranger with his hand that gave, gave him a big slap. So red mark of the slap that it appeared on the face of Ranji. Then the Ranji also, that since that he was very lean and thin, but with his fist, a fist, fist, like this, fist with mukka. So that fist, with the help of the fist, that he also pushed the stranger in other way. And they all that afterwards, that they all started fighting very closely. And since that the word when it also has been given over here, my dear, the word dizzy. Dizzy means confused. D I double J Y. It means confused. So while fighting, Ranji was actually very much confused. That what else to do? And they all that they were fighting against each other, just closing their eyes without knowing that where exactly that the blow is, which part of the body that the blow was going on. So different word meanings. The word tumbling, T U M B L I N G. T U M B L I N G. Tumbling. Tumbling means that is. Throwing. The word throwing. T H R O W I N G. Throwing. And disparage. D E S P E R A T E. Disparate. Disparate is very bad. Very bad. B A D bad. Very bad. And gasping. Gasping means to breathe difficult, breathe, to, to breathe with difficulty. So they were gasping each other, they were fighting with their great strength without knowing that where actually that the blow that it was going on upon their body, their eyes already had been closed, they did not know that how the fighting was going on and they wanted to defeat to each other. And this fight actually that continued for the five minutes. But after five minutes of frenzy, unscientific struggle, neither boy had emerged victorious. Their bodies having been exhausted, they stood back from each other, making tremendous efforts to speak. Now, 
Now, do you realize I am a value? Get the strength. Do you know I am a fighter? Say Ranji with difficulty. They gave a moment's consideration to each other's answers. And in that moment of silence, there was only heavy breathing and rapid beating, beating of their hearts. Then, you will not leave the pool, said the warrior. I will not leave it, said Ranji. Then, we shall, we shall have to continue the fight, said the other. All right, said Ranji. But neither boy moved, neither took the initiative. The warrior had an inspiration. You will continue the fight tomorrow, he said. If you dare to come here again tomorrow, we will continue this fight and I will not show you the mercy as I have done today. I will come tomorrow, said Ranji. I will be ready for you. They turned from each other and then they are going to their respective rocks, put on their clothes and left the forest by the different routes. So after five minutes of their fighting, they stopped fighting. They were breathing very deeply and they were very much tired. But no boy was victorious. No boy did get the victory. No boy that dominated to each other. That the fight was equal. The result of the fight was equal. And they were breathing very deeply. And then after, that strange fellow, he said, Do you realize that really I am a warrior? Then Ranji was also no less than the stranger. He also said, that, Don't you also realize that I am a fighter? And for this, that they all were looking very angrily to each other. And then after, that strength that stranger said, and then he was not going to leave the pool. The Ranji also declared no, that he was not going to leave the pool. Then the stranger said, then of course that again that we have to fight. Then Ranji also added, yes, all right, we will fight again. But no one that moved against each other as they were very much tired of. Nobody that to, began to start the fighting to against each other. Then after the barrier that he actually was he bought a new idea. So here the word inspiration it means to get a new idea and then after that he, he himself said okay then again that we will come here and we will fight tomorrow. And he also said that if you have the courage, then come tomorrow here again and we, and we will continue the fight. And the value also he said that I will not show you the mercy as I have shown you the today. I will give you a very heavy blow. Then Ranji also accepted his challenge and he said, yes, that he will come tomorrow to fight against the valley. And by saying this, they both the turn to each, each other and put on their clothes and then after that they left the forest by the different routes. So this was the complete explanation of the chapter that is the fight for part one. And the law, the comprehensive check, it means that whatever that the question it has been given, that you have to answer in your form. Thank you.